My name's Rob Madsen. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Shire of Kew. Yeah, what makes Kew special is uh, the environment that we live in and the people. And uh, we also have uh, some of the uh, most fantastic buildings that have been left over from the uh, historical times that uh, are still existing and still used. Right, to get to uh, Kew and this area, if you're coming up from Perth, basically uh, head north on the Great Northern Highway. It is a uh, reasonably long drive, six and a half to seven hours, depending on whether you're in a vehicle or towing a van. The best way to get the most out of the Kew experience is to stay a few days, uh, even longer if preferably, because there's so many things to see and do around here. And they are fairly widespread, so it takes a while to get out to them and get back into towns. The council assists the town and the people who live in it by um, providing them with the, uh, the things they feel they need. Some of the examples of that are um, particularly in relation to tourism. The Shire has uh, put a lot of money into the caravan park here. It's a great facility uh, that attracts the people into town who will then spend their money which supports the local businesses. Yeah, while you're here, you can uh, also go out and do a little bit of sightseeing, um, head out on a trip out to uh, Walga Rock, where the Aboriginal people have uh, been painting for tens of thousands of years. Um, we could also uh, have a look at uh, places like Lake Nellan. Lake Nellan's uh, just north of town. A lot of people go out to uh, Big Bell and see where the old town site used to be. There's a lot of evidence of the buildings that were there previously. So next time you're out in the Murchison area, drop into Kew, um, do a bit of uh, research and uh, bring some equipment so you can go out and have a bit of a hunt for some gold. Visit us here in the, the Queen of the Murchison and have a look at the, uh, the beautiful buildings we've got which are the jewel in our crown.